Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a quick podcast, or a vodcast actually, a screencast, to show you how you might use Audacity to create a podcast for your online class. It doesn't have to be online, it can also be through video, comp compressed video, even on your on-campus class. Um, Audacity is a really great free program that you can download from the internet, and, I ha and there's other, lots of other op possibilities if you do a search on YouTube for figuring out how to do that. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to actually go about creating an Audacity file. That's what I'm going to do first. The thing you're going to want to do is set up your input so that you know what's going on. So you go into Preferences and you say, I want to use the built-in output, that's fine, but you also want to change it to whatever you happen to use. I happen to be using a, a blue snow, snowball, which is great, so we'll just click that one. Um, if you're doing an audio podcast, you can leave it on mono. There's a lot of other options in here, but I think that ba basically you're good to go with this. So we're just going to OK, because this is a really sim simple tutorial. Now, basically to create an Audacity file, what you're going to do is you're just going to hit you're going to open this up, you're going to see this, you're going to just say, okay, record, and you're going to go ahead and do your podcast. Now, some people choose to use a podcast that they have written out and they have notes for and they read it, and some people just kind of wing it and talk as they go. You're, it's completely your own option. Uh, the ones that you wing tend to be, sometimes need a little more editing, but they also sound a little more personable, and since we're trying to make a connection with our students, that's generally what we're trying to do. However, if you want to make sure you have a lot, all the information you want, then you're definitely going to want to try to have at least some notes so that you know what you're going to say. So we go ahead and record and then we say stop. Okay, now we have a file and you can see that I have this whole file here. And you can see this wave, this is the wave, the sound wave, so you know that I've captured it all. So you can see all of that through here. And you can see where it gets louder and quieter and so forth and so on. If I want to, I can go back and I can record, I can play it. This there's lots of other little options here. So if we go through and, I, and you can hear that I said, oh, um, um, I used to say um a lot. So if I said um, one of the things I can do is I can go through and I can select a section. And then by just hitting delete on the keyboard, I can just delete it. I can also hit this little cut button and make it go away. Okay, now that cut thing actually copied it to the clipboard too. So uh, that's one way of going about this. Another thing you can do is you can say, I, I want to just, I want to leave this space here, but I want to have it do nothing. So I can say here, you can say, oh, I want to, erase that or I want to leave the space, I don't want to delete it, but I want it to be dead dead space. I can also do the other way, if I have this like that, I can also do the other thing and this does everything but that. Okay, just some really quick little things to think about. So some other things that I can do is I can actually go through and actually, I mean basically that's pretty much all you need to do. When you're finished with this, you're going to go in here and you're going to say export as mp3. Now remember you had to install the lame encoder and get everything right for this to be an option. Let me just move this up here. All right, so now you can see that this is this is asking for to be an MP3, okay? And you want us to give it a name, so I'm just going to call mine test, and there it is, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Uh, this is a Mac, so yours will look fairly similar, but it gets a little bit different. Now, this is the one thing that's really important here is the title. So the title of your file is what what you want people to actually read. So if I was going to do a title for my class, for my my own my class, I might say uh, week five podcast. Or I might say something like, I might say something like, uh, uh, explanation of the term paper, something like that. The artist is you, so you want to do that. And then the album, I used to use the course number, so I would, in my case, for my class, I would use AGRI 3000. You can put in the track number and the year if you want. The genre, you can change to anything you want. Uh, they don't seem to have, they didn't have a podcast the last time I looked. So that's not my, probably an option, but uh, other is an option, or you could say oldies or whatever seems to match for you, or you don't have to say anything. And then in the comments, you can write in things that say, well, this is an overview of, quick overview of what we want to do with the paper. When you're finished with that, you can say, okay, we're going to put this okay, and then it's going to export this project. All right? So if I go and find this project really quick, and I'm just going to open that up really fast and bring it over so you can see it, we can find out, you can see what it's going to look like. So and it will open. In, it will open either. It can open up in in Audacity or in whatever MP3 player. Now something to remember is that if you want to re-edit this, so if I want to take this file and go back and and add another track and I start talking again and it starts adding another track or whatever, if I want something like that, then I'm going to want to save this Audacity file. So I would want to say save project. If I'm not, if I just was after that one piece of tech that, uh, that, that I just did, then I would just not save it. I just export it and I now have it. You can see that I now have it right here in my in my on my desktop, so we don't need to worry about saving this unless I want to reduce do something else with it. So basically, that's the quick quickly on how to use podcasting. There's not a whole lot 
else to it. It's really straightforward. And so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and I hopefully we'll have some more of these later. All right, bye-bye.